Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the asylum. Hi, Lady Loyalty. Hi, Jesse. What up, Red Pill? What up, Maddie? What up, Mitchell? Welcome to everybody coming in. And yes, it is always a shit show at the asylum. Now, I'm going to start off by saying it turned into a real shit show for a while. It started to get a little better. And now it's starting to get worse again. So there are some new tools in place that you will see at the appropriate time. Hi, Mel's Bells. Hi, Sassy Cat. Hi, Cajun Lady. Hi, Melissa. What up, Tan Man? What up, Fat Ass Dogs? What up, Venger? What up, Saviors? Well, some things have, have taken place. What up, Pac? Some things have been, been taking place. Um, I'm not too sure how many of you are aware uh, but the accusations that were made about Extreme Abyss have have come to light. So we will be talking about that here in a little bit. What up, Jonathan? What up, Lazy? Hi, Kimmy. Of course she has you blocked, Magda. Why wouldn't she have you blocked? What up, Steve C.? Um, so first off, let me start by saying this because I don't know if I got around to saying it last stream or not. Uh, as you know, last stream was re-uploaded as a video, so I apologize to all the people that watched the 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 replay of the stream there's there's no side chat um the douchebag gave 25 porn bonked me so i had to edit it and re-upload it as a a video so there's no side chat with the replay um oh happy early birthday Pac. yes 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 abyss is is a harmless guy um, there, there were some accusations made about him by a, uh, some people with the YouTube channel called the neighbors, and we will get into that and, and break that down. Um, but again, I don't remember if I talked about this last time or not, but, uh, me and bliss talked on a panel. Uh, her, Lena, and I are are done talking about each other. We're done going at each other. Uh, I think it has come to a place where we took some shots at each other, took some jabs at each other, each other and it's uh, played out. So we, we are done with that. You know, as long as she's not talking about me and Lena, me and Lena are not talking about bliss. Um, I mean, that that is what it is. Um, you know, we, we both went fairly fairly low on our, our back and forth. And uh, I think it's time that that's, that's put to rest. As you know, as you're all aware, um, I, I, I think me and Kimmy K are, are good again. I think Lena and Kimmy K are good again. I think that's all put to rest as well. Um, we're not going at each other. We're not battling with each other. We're not taking shots at each other. I, I think that's all been, been put to rest as well. Now, I'm also pretty bored uh, with the cactus begging for attention. I'm pretty bored with uh, Jake begging for my attention. Um, it's, it's just old. So I stopped in... In Jake's, because of course he 
had my name in his title for the 9,472nd time because he just wants attention. He can't get enough attention. He puts my names in the title and he wants to talk about me. And coincidentally, when I, when I went in there, um, what's new, he was talking about Lena being a 14-year-old boy. Now, before I ice them both out and let them ride off into the sunset together, hand in hand, uh, the two weirdo freaks, um, Jake is obsessed with this 14-year-old boy stuff. He, he is constantly fantasizing about Lena being a 14-year-old boy. Um, it, it's, it's sick. It's to the point that, that it's sick. He's been doing this, what, for, for about six months now, right? Fantasizing about Lena being a 14-year-old boy. Talking about how I got triggered because Dave 25 porn bombed me. But yeah, that triggered me up. Yes, yes, it did. I absolutely got triggered up about that. Um, Reiner says, why would you post a picture of Kiwi when he was 12 or 13? A better question, Reiner, would be, why is Jake sending that picture to people in their private DMs of his little boyfriend that he invited to his house to drink alcohol, not knowing if he was old enough to drink alcohol so he could watch, get him drunk and watch him go swimming. Isn't that a better question? Why are you asking me why I posted it? Why aren't you asking Jake why he stalked the boy's Facebook and sent the pictures to people. That's a much better question to be asking. Renee. Much better question. If you ask me. Because he was trying to prove everyone that he was of age. And it was okay. You don't, you don't find that creepy? You, you don't find that creepy, then I find you creepy. That's what I'm going to tell you flat out. If you don't find it creepy, then I find you creepy. Yes, yes, I am, Mama. Jake is trying hard to, to drag me, uh, but, but unfortunately, it, it's not going to happen. Uh, I am having a battle of wits with an unarmed opponent. And hi, hi Lena. What up, Abyss? Uh, you know, Jake is a professional victim. He's a professional victim. He wants to go at people, but when people come back at him, he's like, oh, oh my God, look what Steve is doing to me now. He posted the picture of Kiwi that I sent to him. Why the fuck you sending pictures of him around, Jake? Oh, look, Steve doxed Kiwi. I didn't dox fucking anybody. There ain't nothing about his fucking name. There ain't nothing about him at all, except a picture that you sent to me with the little notification that you sent along with it saying, I found his Facebook. <laughs> Ooh, look, at I found his Facebook. Yay. You creepy fuck. I didn't dox anybody. Kiwi makes videos. Everybody knows what Kiwi looks like. So I sure as fuck didn't dox his looks. I didn't dox his name. I didn't dox his address. I didn't dox his phone number. I didn't dox a damn thing about him. All I did was show people how creepy Jake is about it. And people can come at me and say, Kiwi doesn't have nothing to do with this. Uh, Kiwi doesn't have nothing to do with this. Uh, Kiwi's in Jake's side check. Kiwi is in J on Jake's panels. Kiwi is in the drama community. Uh, wh why, should, why should he be untouchable? He does videos. He puts his image on the World Wide Web. All I did was share his image. With Jake's little caption... Oh, I 
found his Facebook. Uh, so he can he can talk about Lena being a fourteen year old boy, and he can have his six little sick little infatuation with that. Um, but if you go to Lena's Twitter, you you will see that his actions and activities of him obsessing over her being a 14-year-old boy and fantasizing about me having sexual relationship with a 14-year-old boy and all of this 14-year-old boy stuff it is pedophilic tendencies. Lena posted the proof on Twitter. Uh, he is diagnosed as, as having pedophilic tendencies. Um, that, that's, that's Jake. Um, I'm sorry to anybody that doesn't agree with me, but, but facts are facts. He wants to run around trying to get me triggered, and he basically triggered the fuck out of himself today. And, and what happened to your stream, Jake? Did did you did you private the stream? Did you de delete the stream? Were, were you embarrassed? But by the fact that you got so triggered up that you went on Twitter and called me a pedophile and again said I'm sleeping with a 14-year-old boy and that Lena's a 14-year-old boy. What, what's wrong, Jake? Is it all finally catching up to you? Is it all finally catching up to you? Does it bother you that you're playing a game, but you're playing it? Whoops, he dropped. He'll be back, you guys. And no, I didn't boot him. I don't have control of StreamYards. Not my fault, Kimmy K. So, so don't blame me for... Steve dropping off. Hey, Steve. Boy, thanks for coming up right before I booted myself. Um, no problem. I tried so, holding it down the best I can. Well, thank you. Thank you. Um, so, so, Jake, I'm, I'm sorry that you can't get me triggered up, but, but Dave 25 did. And for all the people that uh, think I'm going to continue to, to talk about Dave 25, no, no, I'm not giving his channel attention. I'm not going on his panels. I'm not going to continue to talk about it. I've already said what I'm going to do and, and I'm going to do it. Hey, people man. are saying, don't, don't sink to, to their level. No, no. The higher moral compass, that shit's over with, ladies and gentlemen. How many streams do I have to do an eye for an eye? Turn about is fair play. Do unto others. Uh, how many times do I have to say it? I'm done taking shit from these douchebag, vile motherfuckers. Yeah. You people wanted to push me in, into being a low-down, dirty scumbag? Con congratulations. Nothing is off limits. The rules are there. There are no rules. The gloves are off. If Jake wants me to stop talking about his douchebag fucking ass, then he needs to shut his fucking mouth about me and shut his fucking mouth about Lena. If he wants to keep playing games, he's going to keep fucking losing. It's as simple as that. He has pedophilic behavior. He has pedophilic tendencies. It is what it is. You know, he can project that shit onto to other people, but it's him. And, and it is what it is. Exactly. Exactly. He acts, he acts and behaves like an absolute fucking predator. And he wants to play victim. 
Oh, look what he did to me. I only talked about him for six months fucking straight. And he responded. Oh, my God. Oh, everybody feel bad for me. Go do a fucking stream crying, Jake. You do a stream like like Cactus doesn't cry. Oh, my God. This is too much for me. I have to take a little time off. Go do what the fuck you got to do. But you know, ju judge me however you want to judge me. You motherfuckers want to put labels on me? I'll, I'll be what you want me to be. I don't give a fuck. Deal with it. Deal with it or don't. Um, well, I guess since you're here, Abyss, we should get into what this stream is, is really about. And that is now, and, and first off, let me start this out with, I don't want a bunch of hate going towards cricket. I don't think that cricket had malicious intentions. I think cricket thought that these people were giving him information that the community needed to know about. I'm going to say that. Um, I don't know that he had ill intentions towards Abyss. I don't know if he did this to be devious or mischievous. Only he can answer that question. And Cricket, if you are listening to this, you are absolutely welcome to, to click the link and come up on the panel and talk about it. Um, but otherwise, I I'm going to assume that these people the what what are they the mcleans yes from, from the youtube channel the neighbors um what they did was had a conversation with cricket and what they did it, it's it's these people right here these people right here they they have several youtube channels um and, and they had a conversation with cricket and Cricket released that information that their daughter was underage. When they started YouTube, when their daughter was 20 years old at the time of them starting their YouTube channel. And in college, in in the process of going from um they she went from a college in the norco area went to instead and then transferred to a college in arizona So, so there, so the, the daughter hasn't been under age the whole time that they have been on YouTube, but they tried to run with this scenario of events to smear abyss. Um, and I would like to thank Tina for, um, the whole thing getting straighted out. Yes, and yeah, we also need to, to thank Take Back, who, while this was all going down, found the information of this douchebag right here, uh, whose name is Kevin McLean. This picture is from 111.23. He is a registered sex offender. He is a tier three sex offender. And if you uh, look at the left of the screen here, uh, he was a teacher. A music teacher. Who had sex with his students. I believe there was a total of 12 felony charges. And he, he was having sex. Deal. 
with 16 and 17 year old children. He is a tier three sex offender. And these motherfuckers tried to project the bullshit onto Abyss because Abyss made a simple joke. These people run with this silly joke about paddling. That That is their content. Abyss made a simple joke about paddling the daughter who was never underage. And this pedophile and pedophile supporter from the YouTube channel, The Neighbors, tried to project their bullshit onto Abyss and say that he was doing something creepy. Now, I believe the daughter is about 30 years old now. This event took place... 31. 31 now, and this event took place, what, like five or six years ago? The very first time that I met them was five going on six years ago. So there we go. So she was, so she was 25 years old when this happened. And here I never met her. Never, never met her. But you did, you did meet the family. Oh, I understand yeah, that you, you went to their house and, and helped them with some yard work. Well, the, well, the pedophile father was going through a hip replacement or hip surgery or something, correct? He had a hip replacement. That's why he would walk with a limp and he the weir, worst thing of it is that he even worked in human resources but got laid off well, I wonder why he got laid off maybe because yeah, he's a, he just power just a in the human resources department right Especially as the head of a, imagine him judging another, like an employee or somebody trying to get a job. Right. He gets yeah, to make I'm, that I'm, call. I'm guessing he got laid off because they, you know, they found about the and fact that he what ready I heard spend. is that um they were um cutting back on employees. Well, they were cutting back on that employee. I, I guaranteed, I guarantee the day he didn't come to work, they hired somebody else to fill his fucking position. They fucking filled somebody. They filled his position before they fired him. And I, I don't, maybe uh, I, I would assume as soon as they found out the information, there was no hesitation. You got to go pack your shit and get the fuck out of here. I, I would assume. The worst part is is that the mother al allowed um had her daughter living part of the time with them when she was under age well they were they were probably trying to you know recruit some of her friends to to the house the, the lady is a sick bitch she is a sick fucking bitch. And with this whole thing that came out and the way it was drug, it felt like my reputation didn't matter that I was being drug on someone's channel. No, no, they, they didn't care um, no. because it was deflecting from the pat fact that uh, they are disgusting human beings and they should not be on this platform. The wife is definitely an enabler. He's yeah. a registered sex offender. He's a tier three offender. He was a teacher who was having sex with his students. And can I point out something, Steve? Absolutely. Um, before everything got brought up, uh, um, several years before 
um, this whole thing happened. Singer Savannah was um, listening to their channel too, and they accused her of lying about her dog passing away. What the heck? Yeah, these these people are are disgusting human beings. They yes, tried to Oscar project. Biden. They tried to project onto abyss. Unfortunately, cricket got taken advantage of, not knowing that they were pedophiles, pedophile enablers, pedophile supporters. Sent that information to to take back. And that information got got blown up. That information got got put out. Um, and Chris Chris didn't do a damn thing except make a a simple joke. Supposedly made a simple joke. Let yeah. me say this, and I'll get down, you guys. You know you what? Can we can you, all you sit here and say we want to, but if Chris didn't say nothing, Chris didn't say nothing, and he wasn't going to say nothing, everybody would still think that Chris did something disgusting. That's what pisses me off right now. Yes. Because guess yes. what? Had nobody said nothing in Chris's defense, you guys would have ran with that motherfucker until fucking kingdom come. So we can all sit up here and act like y'all did something big. Y'all didn't do a goddamn thing. Steve wasn't involved in it, but y'all would drag this motherfucker if he didn't open his fucking mouth. And guess what? He wouldn't have. I opened my fat fucking choppers. So don't act like you guys gave a fuck about the girl or the accusation. You happen to get a nice, juicy story out of slander case. Fuck you. Now, yes, Tina, I, I agree. But let, at the same time, Tina, let's not make this all about you because at the end of the day, it is not. You cut off. Is gone. Um. Uh, no. No. Uh, the victim didn't say Chris did it because there was no victim of abyss. This family runs with this paddling stuff as their content. Chris made a simple joke about the twenty-five-year-old daughter. That, that, that he says he didn't even say. Let's just play devil's advocate and say that he did. It was a 25-year-old woman who, by the way, was off at college, not even part of the events going down, but it was their content. The paddling was their content. Um, the victims are victims of the father, Kevin. Um, but they projected it and told Cricket that Chris had done this stuff and that it was to a minor, but Chris didn't do a damn thing. They told Cricket, Cricket told people thinking that he needed to inform the can community. I, can I point out um, the comment that I just see? That I did not live next to him. Yes, yes. There is a big confusion about that. It's not Abyss's neighbor. Abyss never lived the next channel. to them. The name of their YouTube channel is The Neighbors. That's the name of their YouTube channel. Well, I don't have long here, so I'll get to the point of why I came up here. I know you wanted right. me to come up here and roast. I just really don't have the time. Yeah, um, that's fine. Say, say what you want to say. Uh, Abyss, I should have looked more into it before I did the live stream, so for that I do apologize. Recollected on our um, conversation yesterday. I'm not going to porn bomb you, Steve. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm... Okay. Is that, is and, that uh, are you dog? Yeah, how you doing? Okay. But at the end of the day, if we, I never did the live stream, Tina never asked me that question when I was up there with Abyss and we got to talk about it, we would have never found out that Kevin Gerald McLean is indeed a pedophile, sex offender, registered, all that. Um, so a positive came from a negative. That's the way I look at it. Has Glass half empty, half full, whatever you, your perspective is, that's mine. 
Yeah, I, I agree. Um, you know, I'm, and, and Tina's right. If, if it didn't come to light, if it didn't get talked about again with you and Tina and Biss on, an, a, pan, on a panel and them just happened to be live at the time so people could go over there and get the facts, people would have been looking at, at Abyss Sideways for, for the rest of his time on the internet. Um, and you immediately looked it up and found out that this dude is a, a registered tier three sex offender, but that would have never came to light if that conversation wasn't taking place. Yeah. 1000%. Who's he talking to? Sure. Yeah. So Abyss is absolutely innocent in this. The persons that are not innocent in all of this are these people here. The registered pedophiles. And this and, is the registered pedophile. His name is Kevin McLean. He is part of the Neighbors YouTube. They have several YouTube channels. They, they are vile, disgusting human beings. And that is what needs to be known. The man was a teacher that was taking advantage of his students. And in the court hearing, they said that they thought this guy was likely to be a repeat offender and he is a danger to society. Just throwing that out there for everybody. Do as you, do as you will with it. Yeah, abs absolutely. Tier three. Uh, that is the highest tier. Uh, that means that he has had multiple victims and is likely to reoffend and must be on the registry for the rest of his life. In, and he has to register in any state that he lives in. Abs absolutely. Bye -bye. absolutely. You guys, I'm going to dip out of here. Y'all have a good one. All yeah, right. Thanks for coming up, Big Mac. Yep. Why can't so we, I why find can't it, I find it interesting. I find it interesting that the name of their YouTube account is the neighbors because that's who needs to be most aware of this is their neighbors because they are living next to a tier three sexual predator. Damn right, dude. Jeff, uh, he I took a play deal to put himself just on probation for, for molesting children? Yeah, in his high school, at the L.A. high school that he worked at. Oh, was he a teacher or a custodian? Um, he was a music teacher oh, at that's that awful. school. That's awful. And he oh, and he what he did in the article on the left hand side of the screen that you guys see I read it all he had a stuffed teddy bear in his office in a cabinet with with lingerie on it Abyss, I'm sorry to interrupt Steve there's a troll account in your chat of my deceased daughter. I asked oh, Lena oh. to remove it, but it's still there. It's oh, under my Michaela Fisher Bartel, which is not even her name, but. Okay, they're gone. I just removed it myself. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And they're still, they were saying that I was still guilty. I don't, you, Chris, you know damn well you're not guilty. I know. That lady was trying to cover up for her husband. And trying to make you into what her husband was. And the fact of the matter is you ain't got nothing to worry about, man. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, we all we all know you're not that type of person, Abyss. It, it's all right, Chris. Don't even don't even stress yourself out. Her husband's a piece of shit. Uh, uh, the, 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 lady, the mother is weird. She's really weird. She's interesting. She looks like she smokes dope. And, um... You know, just, 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 just don't. But what you gotta do is from this day forward, don't even speak to the bitch. Don't even call I'm her. Not. Don't even have no communications with her. You can make a lot. I think you can do is make all the troll accounts you want and go in the chat and fuck with her. 
and Steve, like yeah. singer Savannah said, that me and her both met them through a prank channel and vlog channel that was where the the couple that ran that prank channel met them um, that introduced them to everybody was their actual neighbors and they left on um, the prank channel moved to Minnesota after, and then split and the channel the neighbors remained here in California up to like five, six years ago. Isn't it ironic? The neighbors tried to ruin you and the neighbor fucking vindicated you. Isn't that weird? Yes, yes. N Nikki, Nikki and John, yes, they, they, uh, I don't know if they're, if, if John's back in Minnesota now or, or where they John? They are in Min Minnesota, both of them, but they, Ended their engagement and she married a different man. You know what, Steve? This is the asylum, correct? Correct. Okay, so you're bringing up about the sex offender, which I think is great that you guys actually found a sex offender through all this. But let me ask a question Are we going to bring up the fact that this group is trying to make themselves look good because the sex offender was actually found with the allegation that they put on Chris? But they got lucky this time. What about all the other times they put allegations on people and they're unfounded? Right. So fuck what everybody's talking about, oh. acting like they did something great. You guys it's believe awesome. everything that's said on the internet. That's fucking weird. That's weird to me. Fucking yep. weird. And I and I agree. And I I talked about this on uh, I believe it was Albert's panel. Yep. That that they took information from a troll account named Cricket and didn't do any research whatsoever. Mm -hmm. They thought it was Abyss's actual neighbor and didn't even do enough research to find out the fact that it was a YouTube account called The Neighbors and ran with the story so hundreds if not thousands of people were looking at this information and thinking that abyss was making these comments about an underage girl without knowing the truth and the facts behind it and when the research started taking place it unraveled in minutes not not hours, not days, not weeks. It only took minutes to uncover the fact that the neighbor's YouTube channel is run by a actual tier three sex offending pedophile and a woman that is accusing other people of pedophilic tendencies and pedophilic behavior. And about like to my dad because they said, oh, look at team, there's a pattern. You got another sex offender in your fucking community. So everything they said about my community with no fucking facts, no police records, just word of mouth and somebody pissed off didn't work out for them. Because now what are they going to do? Because if nobody questions them now, then all you guys are fucking blind as a bat. Yeah, yeah, there, there, ha there has to be when, when there's claims like that, there there has to be something behind it, a, a pattern of behavior, some type of of evidence to to just go off it and make those allegations from from a, a troll account. And again, I'm calling crickets a troll account because when I talked to Take Back about it on Elbert's panel, he had no idea who Cricket was. Locale. Locale got the information from Cricket and gave it to Take Back. How about that, motherfuckers? 
once again, a motherfucker that's known to go around and get illegal information to character assassinate somebody is involved in this right from the beginning. What state is this predator from? The predator originally lived in California but moved to New, to New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Well, maybe he'll freeze his dick in a snowbank. Nah. Well, if anyone's from New Hampshire, make sure to give a call and let and let your uh, local police department know that a sex offender is using the internet. We cannot have that. Well, first of all, but... we haven't seen him on the internet. I haven't seen him talk at all. His wife is. But I haven't seen him say a fucking word. So I'm mm. not going to go make up shit on the man. He's already no. a fucked up piece of shit. He's going they to hell anyway. They did upload a video that he was in couple um, yesterday. Okay, but I don't see him doing live streams talking to little kids. I don't see him trying to expose himself to anybody. But still, once a pedo, always a pedo. Well, that's great. You be Captain Save a fucking hoe and you go to cause some more shit for the man. I don't give a fuck as long as Chris and his family say, I don't give a fuck. Yes. Nobody boss, cared about boss. that motherfucker being a yep. sex offender two weeks ago. All they yes, want to do is ruin is. fucking Chris and say, I got a fucking pervert in my fucking camp like my fucking daddy and like my fucking son. So fuck what you're uh, talking about too, bitch boy. Boss 510, yes, she still is married to the registered sex offender. And they are still putting up yeah, content to together for on their YouTube years. channel I mean, as recently as he yesterday. Really cares. I mean, his wife admitted it. So, I mean, I don't know what the plan is here, but... Why? They tried to convince Country Carter something happened with his kid because they couldn't. So they tried to convince the man. <laughs> Fucker, weird. I, honestly, I don't think pedophiles should be on the internet, internet like whatsoever. Fuck, I, I, I agree. Um, and, I, and I think they shouldn't have life either. I mean, I don't know. I agree. Oh, here we go. Maybe dogs can get them. We shouldn't have mentally incapable people of making decisions on their own beyond the internet. We shouldn't have sex offenders. We shouldn't have wife feeders. We shouldn't be drug addicts. shouldn't be alcoholics. Well, guess what? What the fuck do you think is going to be on the internet then? Well, there's a lot. Well, yeah, okay. Well, those things are a lot different than being a pedophile. A pedophile is the worst of the worst. Well, Crystal Meth Gun walked around here for how many years, Steve? Before he was found out. Uh, I don't. I don't know how many years he was. It's like was fucking four or five fucking years. Uh, so let me address Carlos's point news, Steve. What's your thoughts on this Mark and Kamisha situation? Um, you'll have to elaborate on that because I don't know what they're most. Because he said, "Show me your pussy, and I'll tell you your age." Oh yeah, that that was disgusting. That and she's been on his panel since then, and acts like she didn't even give a fuck that he said it. And now, yeah, but still, he said, "Are you fifteen years old? Let me see your pussy, and yeah. I'll tell you how old you're." And that that is yeah. creepy as fuck. Uh, that that is pushing. Uh, it, that that is disgusting. Uh, right, what do you think I'm about it, gonna... Carlos? You're a mod for him. You're in there with as a mod, so why don't we ask about your integrity? How, right, about, how not... do you feel about it? All right, I'm not going to defend the comment. However, uh, I will say Kamisha is an adult. I've known her for a long time. Yes, yes, yes. Kamisha is 26, uh, almost 27 years old. Uh, still, the, the contacts, and I and I know Mr. T was doing it for the, the shock value. It's still creepy as fuck. Um, and then Anderson meeting Molasses and McHenry Cruiser. Um, I don't know. Anderson boss. Anderson is is creepy. Uh, they they can make some some content together. I'm um, I'm not gonna be be watching it. Uh, the circus expose, exposing. Uh, on of that, Dave 25 channel, Nelly losing his job. 
Uh, it's too bad that Nelly lost his job. I hope he can find a, a new one. He already did. He already found another one. And uh, G G Mangos hasn't hasn't disappeared. He is in in rehab, recovering, trying to get better. Uh, hopefully, we will we will see him back on YouTube soon. Hey, guess what? Um, uh, faulted Wolf, you're calling me out for being in Marks after he said it. I don't give a fuck. He's and not the only one on this motherfucking platform that's ever said anything. She's an adult. And you guys didn't bring up the fact that she called Albert. A fucking N word while fat ass dogs called him the N word. Fucking she called him the N word. Fucking Dave called him the fucking N word. I just got a clip from Nelson Green. He sent it to me. You guys I, ain't gonna I, bring I, any of that up. So let's bring up about Mark saying something to a girl who's been going around here, fucking going after one guy after another guy after another guy after another guy. Get the fuck out of here. That, uh, that whole. Not, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Doc. I did not say the N word. I just repeated what Albert said. I didn't call him. Yeah, whatever, bro. <laughs> but that's whatever. Still I got the clip. I got the clip. Really I'll, send it to, I'll send it to Steve yeah, later. I said, yeah, I said the N word. Big deal. I say it all the time. Okay, you, you said, said big, big deal. deal. You can say it. So guess what? Don't ask me when Mark says it. Don't make a big deal when other people say it then. How about that? That's what I'm saying. Why are you making a big deal out of it? Because you know what? When you were at Steve's last week and your friend came up here, you said, hey, Tina, get your ape in line. You want to address that motherfucker? Because last yeah, time I checked, your, I don't yeah, bring him to the zoo, and I don't feed him fucking bananas, says. motherfucker. It means what it says, Tina. Get your ape in line. Oh, he's an ape? So what, what exactly what does that mean? Elaborate. Yeah, by, motherfucker. By, by oh, calling like, Albert an ape, what are, what are you insinuating by that? He acts like one. Are you kidding me? Like, I mean, why do you need to scream <laughs> over him? Like, Steve. Wow, you he's were, a fucking ape. Hold on, hold wow. on, Steve. Steve, you were going to allow me to do an announcement on your show, and this guy was talking over me, acting like, a acting, it, it was just complete ape behavior. Ape behavior? He told me to shut the fuck up and put me in the back room, and all y'all were running your fucking mouths. Oh, boy. Okay. But anyway, this sounds crazy as shit. But anyway, big deal. Big deal. Albert was it being a, a professional deal. victim on Dave's, at, pretending he was a victim of racism. No, you called him uneducated. You called him uneducated. You called him uneducated by your standards, cock breath. He does whatever. sound uneducated. I won't. Okay, whatever. Okay, you sound okay. fucking retarded saying a man is an ape. Don't worry about it. Oh, Don't no. Oh, Don't no. I called it. him an ape. Ooh, no. Okay, I'm an ape. I'm an ape. I'm an ape. I'm a no good N-word. I get it. Whatever. Think what you want to think. Yeah, yeah it's, cool, kind, of, it's cool. kind of the same. Kind of, kind of the same thing, right? I mean, yeah. that's that's basically what you what you said when you We're called calling him. him. Yep. The and racism I, is the same, and the I don't care, man. Is, like, you don't care. I, I get it. Like I said, I could care less what people think of me, Steve. Okay. Mm. Yep. But anyway, anyway, I don't. Anyway, I don't say stuff for shock value. This guy was acting like a complete dick to me okay. on fucking on the asylum. He even yeah. threatened to slap me, Steve. Remember that? Yep. I'll do it yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. You threatened to smack me. I'll do it again. I'll threaten worse if I want well, to. Well, you know what? That was all hyped up before our dogs even got up there because you and Kimmy Cam were going at it for like I an hour. Yeah. So yeah, whatever. I really don't. Yeah, I, I didn't really even don't fucking attack him. You just fucking threatened to slap me. Yeah, like, you did. You said, like, get my ape in line. So get your fucking ape in line. How would you like that if I said that to you? Okay, I would. I would get Wrangler in line. Oh, he's an ape? So we got him from the zoo? You yes, fucking sound get, stupid, dog. Some of your kids is a dog. I did, I did, I did get Wrangler from the zoo. Don't Thank even worry about much. it. The racism is insane, Steve. You know it. I know about. Ray, oh, the race. You're a professional victim. That's what you are. The racism There's no is racism. insane. No, you but you mean, pretend to have a stepfather so you can get away with saying it. Why don't you just say it? Why do you got to pretend you got black people in your family so you can get away with it? Just say it. Get it over with. How about that, bitch boy? Well, why you got to act like a professional victim? Uh, well, why do you got to act like you got black matter. people in your family? Are you scared just to be chill, yourself? Bro. You scared just to just chill, be you? Just I'm just sorry. Chill. I'm telling, I'm sorry. I'm honest with you about my real life, Tina. Okay. Congratulations, Bo. Congratulations. Call me the N-word every day if you want to. It don't bother me that. I wouldn't go up on Dave's if I really cared about it. Dave's the most racist Congratulations. person. Congratulations. If you did care, why were you there? Yeah, because as enjoyment, I get entertainment from going to Dave's and arguing with racist people like you. And oh, everybody I'm not racist, else up dude. there. Like I said. But you clearly are, dog. You you said the N-word multiple times. You're as bad as Mark Perry. He thinks just because they call And his him girlfriend cheated on with a black man. He Big yells deal. the N-word and calls her a bitch. Big and deal. the N-word. Big deal. Your mom says the word all the time, and you never give Whatever. her shit for it. Whatever. She's white. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, I just true. I just want to point out that, that having uh, black people in your family does not give you a pass to be it's, racist. Exactly. I have well, black I'm not, people I'm in racist. my family, and yes, I have said the word nigga, uh, nigga, please, but you yep. have never, 
ever heard me use it as a derogatory term to anyone, no matter what they said about me or what they said to me. I sat on Dave 25's panel the other day to tell him I'm going to fuck him up for what he did to me. Uh, and he threatened to burn my place down with me sleeping in it so I couldn't escape. Threatened yep. to send people to my home to kill me. And, and you didn't hear me get all racist because you want to know why I'm not an uneducated piece of fucking shit. And having a black person in your family does not give you a pass to be an actual retarded fuck. Well, I wasn't, well, like, job, like I said, like I said, thank you, Hammer. Like I said before, Steve, I, yeah, I said what I said, but guess what? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's 20, 2024. Can, can't we increase our vocabulary to, to a point that, that we don't have to, to say ridiculous, racist shit to people? I, I get it, but why but why does everyone got to bitch about it, though, you know? Like, everyone's just acting like a victim <laughs> about crazy. it. They're, people crazy. are just oversensitive nowadays, Steve. That's just what the you thing. Oversensitive? Like, yeah, that's you're like, oversensitive, dude. How? how? Over because a you're word. Just, you're literally a being, word. You're, you're literally... oversensitive over a word. Dude. It's not a word, dog. Yes, it is you're... a word. No, let me explain it to you. Let me explain it. You'd be quiet for one second. Oh, he knows everything. Don't explain it to us. Right? Let's call back listen, to the pedophile. Listen, that's listen, more important. That word, that word was used to control black people whenever slavery. So it obviously is offensive to black people and minorities, and you ju you're just using it loosely like it doesn't even matter, like it's just a word. It's not just a word. They used it to control us. Yeah, but I don't use it in a racial derogatory term. I've never there called. Is no, there is no good way to use it. There name is one no good way to Name use one it. person that called that word to. Name Me. one. Yeah, but I your was girlfriend, what you said. your girlfriend, when you're walking on Mark's lot, you, just, you sound crazy right now. You just said name one person I said it to, and then I name a person, and you're like, well, like that doesn't even make sense. You like, like besides you, because you're uneducated and you're an ape. That's well, not the same. I was, just, that I was just repeating that's what you said, but anyway, but you can't just repeat so, what I so said. So here, so here, so here's the deal. All of us have words that are yep. meaningless to us. And we can say it doesn't mean anything, it's not offensive, but we cannot dictate to other people what they find offensive and disgusting. So we can say, well, it doesn't mean anything when I say it, but that doesn't mean that the people listening to it when you say it, that it doesn't mean anything to them, that it's not highly offensive to them, that, that it, it isn't cutting like a knife to, the, to them. We, we don't get to decide what our words, how they affect other people. We, we don't get to say that. We don't get to decide that. We can only say it doesn't matter to me. We can't say it doesn't matter to you. Say it doesn't Sorry, matter. Steve. Well, that's just like when Mark got up there and said, get N-I-G-G-E-R Isaac. Everybody's like, oh, my God, Mark just called Isaac that? Holy shit. And they made a big deal out of it. Well, guess what? It means something to Albert, too, well, I guess. I expect, I expect that behavior from Dave. Yes. I mean, what the fuck more do I? I mean, God, Dave says it every live stream. I go over there just to fuck with him. Well, yeah, and, and unfortunately, with, with Mr. T hanging out with Dave, who's hanging out with Anderson Henderson, who, you know, getting all back into that pasta crew mentality. Yeah, it, he said it a hundred times the other day. It, it, yes, it, it's being racist as, as fuck. <laughs> this, shit, this, shit, this, shit ain't, this shit ain't cool. The, the, shit, the shit ain't cool. And thinking it's cool puts you on the level of people like like the mentally ill Dave 25. That Those are the type of people that think it's cool. People like Dave 25. People like Anderson Henderson think they're being edgy say, saying that shit. It, it ain't cool and it ain't funny. You remember when that fucking guy, uh, what's his name over there in Oregon? He said it a hundred times to Ms. D. And he just kept saying that over and over and over again. You know who I'm talking about. 
The guy in Oregon that took a shit in his bucket trying to say, I think went to his house, took a shit. Oh, tight tally. Yeah, he said it, remember? Over and over and over all night long. It, it, just... Okay, Steve, I'll say this to you. Thank you, Chris. I believe yeah, go ahead, free spe- I believe in free speech 100%. I'm a huge free speech activist. <sighs> mm-hmm. However, okay. it doesn't give you freedom of consequences. For exact, exactly, exactly. I will you you, you have the right to say anything you want. And yeah, people have the right to respond accordingly. Absolutely. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. Yeah, this is America. We can disagree and agree. It's just, you know, we're just going to go back and forth with each other. <laughs> and then why does it matter when one person says it and they have the writing on YouTube? We got to put in big, bright lights and colors. But when another person says it, well, they don't really matter. That doesn't make any sense to me. So it is judged on YouTube. Who has the well, most variety is when it gets up in lights and colors. Who doesn't? It ain't going to matter if they said it. Fuck them. They ain't nobody who couldn't give a fuck, right? Doesn't make any sense to me. Well, how about this? Shouldn't How about every... It's either everyone should say it or nobody should say it. That's no. how I feel. That's not true. Not nobody. Yeah, nobody, nobody. should say it. Nobody nobody. Should. Yeah, you too, I, Albert. Yeah, you too, I, Albert. No, it's not. I, 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 agree, I agree with that 100%. I agree with that 100%. Yeah, that, it, 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 that it is that offensive to be said to you then you shouldn't be saying it to somebody else. I agree with that 100%. That, yeah, that it, yeah. it's, a, it's a double standard. Uh, when people say we can say it because we're, we're black, that, that's, that's a double standard. If it is that of a word that it, it's offending you to be said to you, then you shouldn't be saying it to somebody else. I agree with that statement. I agree yeah. with that too. I agree with that too. But the like, I, I don't really, I don't really say it to anybody. You know what I mean? It's more or he less. Says of, it with them. It's more or less of I repeat. I I re- I repeat what they say. So I'm like, let's say they say. Yeah, just it, like, like I repeated what you said, man. But it's a it's double-edged not the sword. Same, but it's, it's really not the same, though. Oh, it's it is the same All because right, we're human right, beings. Patrick. Not really, though. Yeah, it is. It is no, the same thing. But how, how would that word be offensive to you at all? Because that wouldn't even make that doesn't even make sense to me. If it's offensive to you, then why do you say it? Because I'm I, I can, I'm able to. I, well, not, why are like, you able to? What gives Because he doesn't get judged what, like what, we would. I go like, outside oh. and say it right now, and everybody be looking at me like I'm a fucking fat ass retard that they do on YouTube. He yeah, goes what, out and says it, they're gonna be like, Oh well, his daddy's black. Who gives a fuck? That even, That's what that he's trying to say. I what makes you so special? What do you mean? It ain't special. Who the hell wants to be special? Call back. Get the fuck out of here. That's stupid. Oh my no, Jesus. no, no. I'm I'm saying he's ex- it, no, he's I have saying never that... heard this terminology. I've never No, he's I've saying never... he should get protection from saying from consequences for saying We it say nigga. Steven said nigga as far as as long as I've known him. It's not a big deal. But when you start going I've ER, never... it's a big deal. I, have... I, I did it. Never... I made the apology. I'm wrong too. Get the fuck over it. Let's say, let's say this. All right, black My, friends, all right. We, we joke around all the time saying this shit. We just fuck around saying this shit. They don't ever say, "Hey, you don't say it." But if I had maybe a white friend in here and he started doing it, then it's a problem. You know why is it a problem? Because the the word was designed to talk to us like that, black people like that. The word wasn't designed for to talk to everybody like that. That's why it's a big deal to black people because they they use it. Well, God, I do not do it all the time. Yeah. Shut the fuck up that, and go not, swallow some fucking paint. That I'm I'm sorry, Albert, but that is some professional victim bullshit right there. Why he's not asking for you to give him anything? He can talk the way he wants to, just like you got freedom of speech. Yeah, uh, you're right. Tina, okay, well, but, then he's fucking telling yeah, feel it. We might not agree with him, but, what, but, but they don't mean they're not validating through him. So, I mean, it is what it is. We all got opinions, right? Why, we all got assholes, too. Special, so it is what it is. Special treatment, Tina. He don't want special treatment. He don't give a fuck. Yeah, he does. He, he gets does. treated even worse because of who his mother is. He never got a separate entrance to YouTube. He's been fucking a victim since he was 12. But you guys don't care? So let him do his thing, bro. He's already got a fucking big banner across his head. His mother's a piece of shit. So they automatically treat him like that. So fuck what you talking about, brother. Just say, just saying. I mean, hey, if I'm if just saying gonna, too. I'm just saying if he's gonna, if you guys are gonna criticize me for saying that word, then you guys should stop. No, I'm criticizing you for pretending you got a black person in your family to justify what you're saying. But it's true. 
You're a liar. You said it yourself, bro. With me, yeah, right. everybody could testify that I've never used it. No, Abyss, you're good. Yeah, I've, the fuck? I've never heard you use it at all. I'm not going to make believe I got a black person in my family like Burbs does, Poon does. I got two black cousins, so I can say it. What the fuck? That sounds retarded. Just say it. Get it over with. And how? And uh, okay, I want to. I want to. I will. Julia's saying fast dogs. White privilege, much idiot. No, I don't. I don't have any privilege. There's no such thing as white privilege. It's a lie. One of the biggest lies I've ever heard in the 21st century. White privilege. That's bullshit. <laughs> Yo, no, you. I hate all these fuck. I hate all these fucking idiot Democrats, Steve. Like Jesus. Here Christ. we go with Democrats and Republicans. That's fucking retarded too. People have opinions without being a fucking Republican or a, de a Democrat, motherfucker. In New York, you know what they do? They really were Democrats, but they voted Republican because they got better jobs. So get the fuck out of here with that bullshit too. All right, Julia, I'll, I'll make it. I'll make a deal right now. I'll promise never to say that word again. If Tina and Albert promise not to say it again, there. First of all, we don't even have to be on panel with each other. What I say on here uh, is always <laughs> Hi, talk about anyway. Mike, Hi, let's go all the way to Mike. How are Mike you? Mike, my daddy. Good, how Mike, are you he's my daddy. Not bad. Trying my best to like... Fuck off, bitch. My God. Fucking the only one fucking sound cock out here. here is you and your son, Tina. Yeah, okay. Here we Try go with the retarded shit. Them. Here's I'm that retarded doctor. Here comes the retarded doctor. Albert, get off. And I listen We're leaving. To your Chris, son get off. I'm not doing this today. Not with this horse. Go back to the religion and involve, bitch. Wait, wait, wait. Before you leave... Just wait. I want to talk to both you and Kimmy at the same time. Sure. Okay. So let me let me ask you both, and both of you, please respond one at a time. Mm -hmm. How long does the back and forth between Kimmy K and Tina D need to go on? Listen, Have I don't know where she goes. She other? knows where I go. I do not I go to her streams. I don't jump up there. Every fight I've ever had, she jumps up there on every panel, and it ain't got nothing to do with her. So, therefore, you'd be asking her that question. I'm going to wait for Steve to finish the question first. Yeah, so, I mean, like, how long does it need to go on? What, what are the three biggest things that you have against Tina D. Kimmy? Okay, um, I will stop calling out Tina on her bullshit when she stops lying. Being nope, a fucking doing you not I know. It's a, can I finish? I didn't interrupt. No, nope, sure can't. Well, there you go, Steve. There's your answer. She don't I, have I, a right I, to call me out. I don't call her out. Yeah, yeah, don't I can't. Everything's does. public. And when you stop lying, scamming, and being a, a, a fuck up, you shut the fuck up, you cum bitch. Then don't act like you stop. give a fuck about people. Shut up. Shut up. And Tina, Tina. What are the three biggest problems that you have with Kimmy K? I'm going to talk okay. over her. So Every panel I go on, that, and I have Anna? a fight with somebody the she clown, don't even know. She don't even get her ass up there and fight for the yeah, person. Don't she don't even know what the fuck she's fighting for. I don't know her don't shit. Do I don't follow screaming. her around. Yeah, Is that a possibility? Bro. Can we stop the screaming? I know, right, Doc? Yeah, so, so how, how is it that we can get it to a point that the two of you can be on a panel without fighting about stuff that happened a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, four years ago. How, how do we get it there? Uh, I don't bring stuff up from that long ago, Steve. I stick to recent stuff. Well, my fights have nothing to do with her, Steve. My fight with Bliss has nothing to do with her. My fight with Kamisha had nothing to do with her. My fight with this person has nothing to do with her. There's no reason for her to get up there in a fucking white night. Nobody get called her to the it. fucking platform. You get Wah. over it then. Uh-oh, what's going on? Who's Is that you, Loco? Yeah, how you doing, Steve? Hey, okay, I just wanted to make sure it's you. What's up, guys? Now, Corey, let me ask you this. I, I heard that the original information about abyss came through you to to take back is that correct no that's absolute bullshit i heard <laughs> what the fuck of how course, do i know right? how do i know this check of course well you know i i mean i thought take back said that cricket had had dm'd him 
straight straight to him. I mean, that, so I that just, may have happened. To, Again, I don't know. I that. just wanted to, to clear that up. Well, no, I mean, again, when I said that, you know, take back would have uh, information on that. Um, what I was referring to was the stream that he had did on it with the uh, receipts that he was provided. Um, again, I, I'm trying to be nice to Tina, but that was just like the half listening, half making up bullshit kind of thing. Um, I know I didn't give no fucking information to take back again. Um Well, what, what do you think about the way that all unraveled and the fact that the information was... Oh, I, I'm very from, interested in from, this bitch. From, from yeah. a, a pedophile and a woman that's been married oh. to a pedophile for 30 years. No, I am planning to uh, reach out to uh, maybe a few people. Uh, but anyway, this is a great time to fucking promote it. If any of you motherfuckers have any information on this bitch, uh, like anything i don't give a fuck i'm gonna start going after this fucking pedophile fucking defending piece of shit who the fuck like he and i'll say this up front abyss i mean i'm still gonna troll you because it's you're goofy and shit a little bit but i am sorry about that narrative because that woman is a straight fucking cunt um the fact of the matter that she went as far as she did because let's face it the her original allegations were that the uh that chick was underage. Her daughters were underage and you were basically creeping on them and making a, uh, you know, pretty inappropriate comment about, you know, the girls, which by the way, if they're an adult who gives a fuck, do what you do. But yeah, that's, that's not, that's 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 not the said. story that she was right. originally spinning. So, right. um, and, and that's what I say. If, if abyss, he, he says he didn't, but if he did make a joke about paddling a 25 year old woman, Oh, who, who cares? Yeah, who the fuck cares? But this what I what I care more deal. about now, what I care now more about is this fucking bitch and her fucking pedophile husband. Again, guys, uh, hit me up on uh, Twitter, real ENT owner. And is her uh, is her husband in jail? Is he living there? No, 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 he's out. No, he's not in jail. He's out. Um, he's a teacher, and he fucked a kid. Two of them. God. Yeah. Put a, yeah, put oh, I want this bitch's head. information because I'm going to fuck hard. Take Back's going to blow her up. Shit. I, I'll fucking put a wager down with Take Back right now. I guarantee you I blow her up more than you. I guarantee you I find the, his, her fucking husband's number and blow him up more than you. <laughs> yeah, they they definitely deserve everything that, that they have coming. Um, shit. They're always like in jobs around children. It's fucked. Oh, I just they right? jumped Please off panel too. Like it's just, oh my god. Yeah, what and I don't, I don't know why they, I don't know why they, they all left. I, I don't know. Whatever. I, I mean, it still doesn't, still it still doesn't coach change coach what I said. Toronto, Steve. Sorry, Corey. Just, no, you're good. Fuck. Well, I know why they left. No, well, I do too. Dude, but I'm just, again, I'm just trying to, you know, again, I'm, I'm still gonna make comments about Tina. I'm still gonna, you know, have my fun because, again, why wouldn't I? Uh, I don't hate the fucking bitch like she thinks. I don't do all these god awful, evil, terrible things to her. But whatever. Yeah. Um. Can I just say something about the whole me and Tina thing? Yeah. Like, uh, I I'm a very blunt, straight shooter kind of person. Um, I like the truth, but it's like, yeah, and this is public. Like, a lot of people are gonna call out blatant, ridiculous bullshit. Like the whole Mark thing, I I listened. She was totally fine with it, and then comes here like it's just if she would remember what she says out of her own mouth, and I'm talking recent stuff, and stop the perpetual victim thing. It's just enough. It's ridiculous. So, and I'm not the only one calling you out, Tina. And like I I don't have to hate you because like if you're gonna dish it out, then take it back. Don't just run and block and hide. You're supposed to be strong, right? Now, why you run from another strong woman? Well, here, here's my, my thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. if, if you are continually focusing on the same person and continually calling the same person out, uh, mm -hmm. at what point does it get to that it's consuming you and consuming your actions and doing more harm to yourself than it is to them? I'm not consumed at all. Um, I can go in any chat she's around and she starts talking shit on me too or brings up my kids, Steve. 
And even on your last panel, her son's threatened to kill me and shit, so... Yeah. Oh, he threatened, he threatened to slap me yesterday. Yeah, so, you know, you're gonna get back your same energy, guys. It is what it is. We're all adults here, right? Yeah, Don't I be told, thinking yeah, that I told, people are just I, gonna bow down. No, I think yeah, it's I crazy Albert, that fucking two grown people just hopped off a panel and someone else. Yeah, just told like them to leave. Steve, That's crazy. it could be it could be Corey, Dogs, whatever. Like if Dogs is being an idiot, I call him out on it. If you know you do something, I'm gonna call you out on it. Don't be thinking I fucking only focus on Tina. And as soon no, as I I leave all. this stuff, I thank you, my head. thank you for the gifted membership, Tats. Uh, everybody, okay. hold on for a second. I want to uh, highlight a couple things here. And catch everybody up uh, that is just coming in. The people that we are discussing with the Chomo husband are, are these people. They have a YouTube channel called The Neighbors. Kevin, Valerie, and Megan McLean. Now, the wife made some accusations about Abyss. Saying that he was making comments about their underage daughter and wanting to paddle her. The truth came out. The daughter was actually 25 years old, was off at college, and it was just a simple joke that Abyss says was never even made. Now, what happened was it came out that the father, Kevin McLean, was a teacher who served two years and what he did was he was having sex with his students there were 12 felony charges he is a tier three registered sex offender and the name of their youtube channel that they use primarily is called the neighbors this is a picture of the last time he registered on 111 23. Those there you go, Mark Rydell. You can go hang out over there. <laughs> Both of them are pieces of shit. Fuck them all. That bitch looks like she has to eat with a shovel. That fucking bitch's fucking jaws were so wide. Well, you know it's it's going to be an honor. Go on, Kimmy. No, sorry. Uh, Spartan, I just noticed a comment there. It's like, I just want to be clear. I don't hate Tina, but I'm going to call you on your bullshit, especially when it's just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I have a strong personality, and, too. And, and I also want to say thank you to everybody who has apologized to it, Biss. Thank you for everybody uh, supporting <laughs> Biss. And understanding <laughs> Abyss <laughs> was, was not guilty, that Abyss is totally innocent in this, and that these people, the neighbors, are the vile, disgusting, pedophile, pedophile supporters, and, and the people that condone the pedophilia and are projecting their bullshit onto other people. And that Abyss was the victim here as well as the actual victims of this freaking pedophile named Kevin McLean. That's okay, Tina. I still love you, though. I know if he's talking to I, me. I, just, oh, I should probably hate you, too, so, yeah. <laughs> you know. I don't know. She had just mentioned me right before that, so I don't know. <laughs> Either way it goes, as a brother in Christ. I <laughs> Oh shit! I listen. Whoever wants to call me out on the bullshit, go for it. Like that's the difference. I can take it. I'm not gonna run. You know, but I Again, ain't got my kid up here involving themselves and saying gross shit and threatening someone and then crying I, victim about racism. But uh, the night prior, saying he enjoys it. Like, come on, I, come hey, on. Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve. I got one question. Did did I not just apologize to Abyss though? Like, not even like five minutes ago. Yes, yes, you were included in that. Uh, thank you to everybody who has uh, apologized to Abyss and are, are supporting Abyss now on, on this matter. Again, I mean, yeah, I still stated that, like, I still find, you know, listening to him, like, you know, it would have to probably equate to, like, fucking a cheese grater. But, I mean, <laughs> it, this is bullshit, and this woman's a cunt. I'm not going to lie. I'm not good with those fake fucking, like, real-life allegations like that. Especially here, and then when you bring it here to like a uh, public online forum, the internet's going to internet. People are going to do what people do. 
And the fact of the matter is he was done dirty. And, you know, I was pretty, I was pretty nasty to him about it as well. And I do apologize for that. That, that was wrong. Yeah, I wish he. I wish he was still up here too. Oh right. I, I'm, well, yeah. If his fucking handler Tina would fucking just let the fucking reins go, goddamn, he's a grown fucking man. Mm-hmm. That's fucking bullshit, Steve. If she can't have her way up on your panel, she dips. But she's yep. up here from fucking open to close every other fucking time you're alive. Yep. That's crazy, man. And you know, she's saying, "Oh, they follow me everywhere." You are everywhere, Tina, twenty four seven. I'm everywhere. sorry, but that's bullshit. How do you avoid someone who's everywhere, 24-7? Oh, oh sorry, 27. <laughs> Why? Here, here's, here's a bit if you want to if you want to talk straight to a bit, Corey. Oh, you're here now, Elvis? Yes. Well, hey, I want to let you know, fuck that stupid cunt that what she did was real dirty. And uh, I apologize for uh, my partaking in that. And I can guarantee you, promise you 100%, I'm going to fuck hard with that fucking husband and I'm going to fuck hard with her. It's going to be whatever you want. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, again, I can make fun of, you know, anything. And the fact of the matter is, she came and made a very nasty allegation, fake allegation towards you. So, again, that's that's pretty gay. I'm sorry you had to go through that. It's all right, but... Um, we could agree on one thing, but um, outside of that, um, um, still, um, screw off. <laughs> um, I, that's hey, I'm, I'm America's right. fucking sweetheart. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, Chris, you have a good. Um, good other good, good other night. than that, yeah, yeah. Well, at least at least we found one thing that you can agree on. Steve. Oh, your audio, dogs. God damn. Another degeneracy video. Are you in the bathroom, dogs? You're so you sound like you're on the toilet. <laughs> Sounds like he's like yelling at his I'm fucking phone. I'm driving. Open. Oh, he's driving. Code for taking a shit. I'm driving. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> should definitely, you should definitely make a, a degeneracy video on the neighbors. Can I say yes, something? I, maybe I, I a little bit off topic. Do it. Yeah, go ahead. They shouldn't be called the neighbors. They should be called the stranger dangers. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, the stranger dangers. I agree with that. Hey, Wrangler, I think we came up with our next stream, dude. 100%, 100% I think Lena. So. 100%, Lena. Yeah, Sounds absolutely. Like we have a lot of resources to pull from. Make it real accurate. All right, Steve, I'm going to hop off your panel now just so uh, Tina can have her hug box back. But uh, I do appreciate you uh, letting me up and let me say what I have to say. Later, buddy. Absolutely. Yeah. Have a Thank great you. night. Yeah. But, Steve, Steve, uh, I know I'm, br- I'm bringing up something old, but come on. Albert was definitely acting like a professional victim when he was like, oh, well, mm-hmm. I'm allowed to say that word. <laughs> what a Hi, Were you there? Sorry. Um, Even Tina tried to say, no, I have the right to say it too. Right? Well, sure. I, I don't really think that, that anyone has the right to, to use it in a derogatory form. I mean, really, it's it's 2024. I yeah, I get that, get that, that was so it reasonable. Makes, Just no one said. Like, trying to step the, the fuck back. Yeah, I was trying to make an ultimatum. I'm like, hey, either everyone should be allowed to say it, or nobody should be allowed to say it. You can't, you can't have, you can't have it both ways. You can't be, you know. Were you guys watching uh, Dave 25 streams the past couple nights with Albert oh, up there? We. Oh yeah, we were on. Yeah, that. so you you're aware of what was always said and whatnot. So yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, how, yeah. How much how much of a fucking victim Albert can be? Yeah, I know. And yeah, just from Dude's one day to the next. Come on now. Like I don't. I was I was aware of the tripping out incident. What else are we talking about? 
Oh, just it's just ridiculous. It's just all the time. And then to complain about people calling you on it. It's, I don't know how you do it, Tina. I don't you know. Mean how she, you mean how she was fighting with Kamisha? Yeah, that, that bothered me, too. I understand Kamisha's not innocent and all that. But and then for her, like, the, a couple of days later, so oh, it was like arguing with a three-year-old. Well, that's why I come up to you. Nelly's like, chill out, Tina. The chill out. Well, she was, wait, she wait. Was, I thought... You were I there, thought, too, Steve. I thought Tina D was now going to help Kamisha build build her channel. I have no idea. It changes daily shit. You know that. How can you keep up with absolutely everything? <laughs> yeah, I think that people openly point out her mental capacity because I think that goes over people's heads a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, they're they're both in the side chat right now, and Kamisha apologized, and Tina and Kamisha are, are now good. Well, right. that's good to hear that she's not attacking Kamisha anymore. That's but, cool. But yeah, Tina did accuse cool. me of attacking autistic people on uh, Dave 25's panel, but then she went ahead and attacked Kamisha. Make that make sense, people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? You can come back up, Tina. I just want to come up for a minute. And yeah, I'm just going to chill. So oh. thank you for having me up, guys. And uh, thanks for trying there, Steve, with me and Tina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I I'm going like to say Jimmy. something. So Albert says that he has the right to have the N word. I will go and chat. His mother, Tina, is coming up and saying dogs is making fun of autistic people. But autism is dog's n-word it's his pass she doesn't get to dictate for that because she doesn't have autism <laughs> so so that's that's so so do, dogs are you a, a high functioning autistic you have autism i'm not high functioning no <laughs> oh yeah if you, if you if you have autism you are definitely high functioning he, he is high functioning he's just being fucking funny about it oh man i mean come on i i mean come on it's not that bad it's not to the point where i can't do things on my own you know no you do good you do good you can read a room <laughs> a lot of people on here can't well yeah well yeah you've known me for years how many years have you known me? What, are we going on four, I think? Oh, yeah, 2018, yeah. Any, anyway, yeah, Steve. Anyway, Steve, uh, what what else is new in the in the community? Well, not not a whole lot. I, I primarily wanted to to go live about the, you know, the abyss and the neighbor situation. Uh, I was kind of hoping that cricket would either be watching or or clicking the link to to be able to to come up here as well um because i think he personally is feeling the, the brunt of this and, and feel, feeling it from both sides feeling that he was taken advantage of by the neighbors and used as a tool to go at abyss and then he provided the information and again i i I wish he was here because I feel like he thought he was doing it to be the right thing to do and not realizing that he was getting bogus information from actual pieces of shit. And so now he kind of got, got caught in, in the middle and I think he's, he's taking it hard and I wanted him to be able to come up here, you know, and talk to Abyss so, so he would realize that, you know, if, they they could they could talk it off, but I mean I can't force anybody to to click the link, um, and without hearing his words, all I can do is assume that he that didn't have any direct ill intentions towards Abyss that that he got that information and thought he was doing the right thing. I can only assume that, and unless we hear him say otherwise hey steve yes there was something that tina said that i think you can answer she was getting really mad and she's like see look there's not another predator in my community or whatever essentially not another one what was that about she seemed really upset when she threw that out well because when 
Gus Mob ran with the information and Isaac was making community posts and Take Back was doing a live stream and, and they did absolutely no research to find out who the information was coming from. They were getting information handed to them from an account on Cricket, uh, you know, uh, on Twitter called Cricket, who they had no idea who it was, had no idea who the people were that were in the screenshots, thought it was Abyss's actual neighbor, didn't know that it was a YouTube channel called The Neighbors run by uh, actual pedophilic family. And, and they smeared Abyss and made it look like he was, you know, speaking uh, about underage girls. And there was absolutely no research to, to verify the facts. And it ends up that the facts were 100% in reverse. And they are the pedophiles making Chris out to be something he's not. And... Tina feels, and I'm sure a lot of people feel, that Guess Mop took advantage of that situation to, to take a shot at, at Boss Up and say, well, look, uh, of course they support pedophiles. Well, yeah, that's not the case. But no, so, I mean, so by her doing that, she's just being shitty and victim-blaming, essentially. What? She feels that she's the one that was aggrieved because uh, Abyss was in her community and people were throwing it in her face. Oh, look, another one. Right, right. So it was completely misplaced aggression. Yeah, it, well, if you mean it was misplaced aggression on Abyss and, and Boss yes. Up. Yes, 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 correct, correct. Yeah, me and me and Wrangler have actually Wrangler played a part in locking up uh, one of Kiwi Farms' biggest pedophiles. So. Oh, really? Yes, really. His name is Jonathan Ross, old bathtub boy. Happy birthday, Queen Bee! Happy birthday, Queen Bee! But yeah, Wrangler got fucking. Apparently, Wrangler got this dude fucking locked away after he fucking had a fucking mental freak out. Well, I mean, he flipped out, broke a glass table, went into the bathroom, talked about how he was going to kill his handlers, and then called the cops and said, I have child porn on my phone. And this, this was like after months of me telling him, hey, if you think there's anything to this, you know, turn yourself in, get out. Yep. Just and, over and, and over the over and you gather groups hey. of people and you have them all say the same thing. Hey, dog. <laughs> hey, what? Jonathan, Jonathan Ross went to prison? Bathtub no, Ross? No, no, he didn't. He's in a mental... No, he didn't he's, go to prison. Oh. Oh, okay. Because I, 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 somebody's echoing like a motherfucker, but... um. Uh, yeah, I know that that one asshole Jet Rax is um, one of his uh, close butt buddies. That motherfucker went to prison for uh, fucking an eight year old. That that oh, yeah, asshole we, got locked. We we know about them, Plate Gang. Yeah, let's, no. Let's just call them. Let's just call them what they are, Plate Gang. The group yeah, of pedophiles. Autistic pedophiles. Yep. <laughs> All right, dude. I'm sorry. I just I had to clear that up because I thought you said that you got Jonathan Ross arrested. I was like, what the fuck. Good for you, by the way, if you did. No, but no. no, he was put. No, we didn't. We didn't get him arrested. Wrangler just got him the help he needed, and they deemed him he, mentally. He's under <laughs> what, he, what he got taken around back and lined up against the wall. <laughs> well, I mean that would be a good thing, but you know he did. Uh, but no, we we you know got whatever we could within the legal limits. If you get what I right. mean, right? No? I for yeah, I'm gonna leave here. Um, fairly quick but um i just wanted to say that yeah i first came across that motherfucker uh through medicare so uh um i don't know if you know who that was but um yeah we all did yeah we all do. fuck yeah okay cool so we're in good company then all righty oh. well um you guys take it easy and uh oh hey low cap yo could we interview you about all of the abyss things or at least the part you're willing to talk about Sure. I mean, uh, what I know is just basically what 
you know, was initially said in, you know, in stream, there was just, you know, breaking news allegations about Abyss that just ended up being bullshit by a fucking pedophile defender, fat fucking bitch herself. So, I mean, I, I, I don't know. All but right, Corey, you, Corey you I just want to tell you, uh, I want, I want 10%. Of your interview fee for for you setting the deal up here on my panel, ten percent. Oh, oh, all my all my proceeds go to uh, Saint Jude. <laughs> Hold on, right, I'll take it easy. That's good. Yep, yep. Okay, Godfather Billings. <laughs> Jesus, you baby, like glad the normal though. digs ten percent dogs. Oh. That's <laughs> right. I got to get my ten percent. Well. Well, Wrangler, you're not paying your 10% for the tranny shed. What the hell? You mean 15%? Oh, yeah, it's worth a lot more than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, totally 20%. <laughs> oh, and just in case you don't know, Steve, uh, my buddy Wrangler here, he has a tranny shed in the back of his uh, house. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're joking about that. <laughs> It's a, it's, are, are you it's a, are you primarily uh, working on automatic or manual transmissions in that shed? <laughs> oh, Wrangler, Wrangler, you should ask Wrangler. He he would know best. <laughs> well, it requires a lift, and I'll leave it at that. But no, we we got that. These, <laughs> yeah, Steve, you've heard, you've heard of Play King before? Or no. No, what's that? Uh, they're the group of they're the they're a group of trolls that tried to get this Ross guy that we know to fucking commit suicide. Oh, they good. Pretty much, yeah, they were suicide bullying him pretty much, and they got pissy at us because uh, we report because he, we got him reported. You know, I'm kind of bummed out right now. You know, I made this I made this new thing. For, for when I had multiple people yelling and screaming at each other and 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 I didn't get to use it. So I'm I'm gonna just show it to everybody right now, even though this isn't the proper time. What do y'all think about that? I like it. I, I, th I think you have people that are hard-headed enough that works. <laughs> yeah, that, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see I, how I, that works when everything gets gets totally out. Of oh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Turtle is here. What up, Mr. Turtle? That means it is time for the disclaimer. Hey, Steve. Now that Turtle's here. Can I ask him a question real quick? Sure. You ask him a question and then I'll play the disclaimer. Turtle. I'm, you... I'm looking at the disclaimer. Is someone doing drugs? Steve, all right. Uh, <laughs> Turtle man, you want to be a wrestler? Okay. Oh, I thought. Disclaimer. This content is not suitable for anyone under the age of 18. The Asylum does not promote any illegal activities and is for entertainment and educational purposes only. The view of the panelists do not necessarily reflect the views of the asylum. So please get the popcorn at the ready. It's going to be epic. Thanks for watching The Asylum. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Amazing. That was that, that damn, I didn't hear that one before. You usually get people to read it. Right? You know what you should do? You should, you should make a video clip complica compilation of uh, people that regulars that you have up here uh, reading the disclaimer, dude. You should get Tina D to read it. Get everyone to read it. I could do that. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, dude, that'd be freaking awesome. Hell, you, you read it. It could be one of you reading it. Hell, hell I'm sure we can get freaking uh, Take Back to read it. Yeah, yeah, I could I could use the the regular picture version and have other people read it and then 
and clip it and get a bunch of different clips about it. I could do that. Oh, sweet. But anyway, Steve, guess guess what's ha- guess what's happening, bro? What's happening? I am getting a new Trump flag, bro, and it's going to be big and it's going to be bad. And Wrangler, you're not going to be able to burn it this time. What? What? I'm not going to trick you into mimicking some Republican shit and then fucking betting on it again? Well, Russia is winning, so you might have to buy a MAGA hat soon. We'll see. We'll see. My my money's on the fucking court documents, bet. But any anyway, uh, re- anyway, Steve, uh, me and Wrangler have a little bet going on. I bet. Oh, does that mean he automatically lost the bet, Wrangler? No, no, it's an ongoing thing. When I won the first bet, it took about a year for him to finally burn that flag. The, the bet was that the Supreme Court was just going to sneak it in and then they were going to make Trump president because that's what Trump and Giuliani and everyone was saying. We were talking about did. the Ukraine bet. <laughs> well, I, well, he said, does he automatically lose the bet? I'm like, no, it's an ongoing thing. And I started talking about a bet we had completed. Oh, yeah. Me and Wrangler have a lot of bets. <laughs> right on, we're right on. Friends, so, we, you know, we keep our word. Oftentimes we have, when we get into political discussions, it becomes a agree to disagree or be like, you want to put your money on that? <laughs> uh, yeah, Carlos, that, that's just, that's just a, a rumor. You know how people spread rumors. Uh, he, he is, is rehabbing. He's getting better. He's getting stronger. Um, you know, everyone continue to send positive vibes to G. So we can get him back on this platform, doing live streams, and everything can get back to normal. I mean, because because let's let's be real. I mean, the circus in the side chat isn't going live, stirring up drama. Guest mob hasn't really been doing live streams, stirring up drama. Uh, G hasn't been doing live streams. Um, I don't I don't know. Why Isaac hasn't been going live with the guest mob streams? I don't know when the circus and the side chat is coming back. It's it's Easter this Sunday, so I won't be going live this Sunday. Um, this is kind of my my stream for the week here. Um, but I have noticed without the circus and the side chat stirring up the drama. It's it's getting pretty pretty quiet on these YouTube streets. Oh, yes, shit, to, man. Yeah, to, to the point that it's it's fairly boring. And the way I run this channel, when it's boring, I don't really have much to go live about. I don't I don't do the streams like like Mister T does, that where I just go up there and chit chat. I, I like to have topics to, to talk about. Um, so when there's not a lot going on, there's not a lot for me to, to respond to, or a lot of people to come up here and fight it out or work it out or talk it out. Or, I mean, you got knuckleheads like Dave 25 that wants to threaten to burn my place down while I'm sleeping. So I, you know, can't get out and send people to my house to kill me and be all racist and stalkerish and all that kind of neat stuff. But, you know, how many, how many people are going to be interested in, in his content when people like Tina D and Albert and Mr. D aren't, aren't going up on his channel? He'll be back to, to talking to four people. You know, and Dave's another person I don't necessarily hate, but I just find I just find him to be, you know, one of those people that just wants to stir up uh, bullshit drama. I because, asked you know, him. He, can. he he was writing a stream where he had just gotten porn bombed, and me and dogs had gone up, and I'd asked him, "Why did you pay? If you're going to porn bomb, why did you pick a woman with such a wide and hairy looking vagina?" And he just froze up. 
he did not know how to handle it when you threw it back at him and asked him why. I guess he's in the Chubby Chasers. I guess he's a Chubby Chaser Wrangler. I mean, there's no other way to say it. It, it was a side view, but you could tell it was caverns. But you need a bridge to get to the other side of that gooch. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it live here at the asylum. Mr. T is not going back to Dave 25. Oh, is he in the side chat saying that? Yeah. Mr. T, come on up. Come on up, dude. Come on, let's make this panel more lit. Let's party. Uh, but anyway, Steve, you want to know what I'm doing right now? What are you doing right now? Going to Dairy Queen? Get a brazier uh, burger and a chocolate malt? No, picking up a girl. Actually, that might be a good idea for... I might. That might be a good idea. I might have to stop at Dairy Queen for her. <laughs> he means colonoscopy. Well, take her to Dairy Queen. Get her an ice cream cone. Oh, there's a Sonic right here. Fuck, we can go to Sonic. There you go. He, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm driving. That's why I'm driving. I'm driving for a good cause. That's right. Well, I hope you have a great evening. Oh, oh, we're gonna have a fun time. We're gonna have a fun time. I'm just, I'm, but I'm gonna hang out. I'm gonna hang out here until I, you know, get to work. Cause uh, I'm picking her up from her work. What a gentleman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I try to be a gentleman. Well, hey, 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 I get, I get, I, you know, I guess it's just one of the special occasions, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I I, I know you treat Lena well. I, I try. You treat her, oh, I'm sure you treat her like a queen. Well, I mean, let's, let's, be, let's be honest. I'm, I'm not no angel. Uh, I'm a fairly difficult person to, to get along with. Uh, look at all the ridiculous shit I do on the internet. Look at all the ridiculous shit I've done on the internet over the years. I mean, I'm she. She's the saint. She puts up with my bullshit. <laughs> but yo, I would a hey, I would put a halo over your head any day of the rather than put one over Jake's head. Yeah, yeah. He he he's gotten bad. Dude, yeah, he's gotten, like, okay, like, I used to, you want to know how I met him? I didn't, yeah. I didn't know him that well, but I was hanging out with this guy named Congasm, New Zealand's worst troll. And, yeah, uh, Con, we were, yeah. Yeah, we, we, and we were on Lydia's panel, and, uh, and apparently, uh, this guy named, uh, Jakey Poo was on there, and I, for, and I didn't know who the fuck he was, and then we just started, and then Lydia stopped the live for some reason. And then we and then <laughs> the child me, porn bomber man. Yeah, and then me, him, and Kami hit me, him, and Connie just started talking backstage when the live was out. And then and then I was talking about my I was talking about Detroit and I called it a shithole. And he's like, "What was that?" He's like, "I'm like Detroit's a shithole." He's like, "That's fucking racist." And then Connie's like, "Dude, how's that fucking racist? Calling Detroit a shithole?" He's like, "Because." Because obviously black people live there, and you're just targeting black people. You're racist. <laughs> what the no, fuck? I'm not. I just live there, and I know it's a fucking shithole. Dogs doesn't get clean water, so it strikes a nerve. Oh, shut up, Wrangler. I'm not from Flint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from. I I ain't no fucking Flint drinker. <laughs> Rick, Rick Snyder never got to poison me, Wrangler. <laughs> he, he tried. Never will. What? Uh, he tried. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's a CEO somewhere now. I don't know what the fuck he does now. Actually, he was a CEO before he became governor of Michigan. But eh, I'd rather have him than the one we have right now. She's a fucking bitch. God. Have you heard of Gretchen Whitmer, Steve? No, no, I haven't. Oh, my fucking God, dude. She was an absolute monarch i mean not a monarch a dictator throughout the whole covid throughout the whole covid situation during 2020 dude oh my god it was the honestly michigan was the worst state to be in during covid bro so what what do you guys what do you guys think about the fact that all of that mayhem went down and and the lockdowns and all of that ridiculous stuff 
And now they're claiming that COVID is nothing more than a bad flu. Uh, I I think honestly, I think COVID was just used as a political tool to shut down conservatives. It's the facts. They used Dogs. it to rig the election, it, and they used Dogs. it to. It was brought to you by. To there was the a masses. Republican in power. No, it no it he, no. But he gave you Operation Warp masses, Speed, though. which was the which was the vac shot that everybody hates. Yeah, and I regret getting my vaccine, dude. I regret it one hundred percent every day. And, and that's okay I'd... if one person or a group of people opts out. The herd immunity thing still works. Mm, I think I just would have been better off without it because I I got COVID. I got COVID before I even got the thing. I didn't even get COVID before I got the vaccine. Not even once. And then I got it right after I got it, the vaccine a few weeks ago. I... So me personally, I think the COVID, the whole COVID shutdown was just a political game for the, the far left to push their agenda and to get Trump out of office. It's just the facts. They couldn't, they couldn't, they could, the only reason they did it was because they knew they couldn't win the 2020 election fairly. Do, dogs, you have to remember that when it was going on, it was considered the most bipartisan thing essentially ever because both sides argued got what they wanted. So if there is some complac- uh, complicity, it would be on both sides on that one. Well, yeah, I mean, they're the ones who shut everything down, dude. I mean, our government's corrupt. Let's just do, do you know what complicity means? What? Okay. We, well, okay. It, it means responsibility. That means that both the Republican and the Democrat Party intended all of that, and Trump was just greedy enough he bit the apple. I mean, I'll say this. Trump should have been more fucking uh, – he should have been – he should have been more strict on it, okay? He should have, he, he he should have should, fired he Dr. Fauci. Have been, he should have fired he, he Dr. Fauci have been holding the federal ra- government involved. He shouldn't have been holding rallies. That's what the communists no, were doing. Oh, that's all bullshit. It's exactly what they were doing. They were having large communal meals. There is an episode in their news where one of their people who is an ice skater broke her leg, but she still show, showed up for like the communal meal thing. And it's like, oh, look at this patriotic person. Look how they love the party. Look how they're willing to come to a death zone. Yeah, but dude, you can't really use that, that argument. For communists, but not for Americans. You can't really use that argument when more people have died from COVID under Joe Biden. Uh, no, no need to, no need to, to spam. Strabble, Pablo, whatever your name is. Uh, everybody in the side chat is, is capable of, of reading. Uh, cool Nicole says, Hi, Sir Mr. Frog, Steve Billings, how are you doing? I'm happy I'm having zebra cake take back twin babies. Yep, zebra cake take back is the daddy of my twin babies. Big third Mark Terry, get jealous. Thank you for the super chat, Cool Nicole. Yeah. What's a zebra yeah. kid? Yeah. No, uh, zebra no. take take back. That that is take back from Yes Mom. Where the fuck is Ape Ben? Uh, I think Ape went went live last night, but but I was sleeping when he when he went live. Yeah, him and Wrangler were going back and forth on uh, another panel. wasn't wasn't pretty. No, no. He, I I showed that video where he was telling dogs to, uh, if you get in any fight with a woman, just bop them on the brain stem, destroy their phone, destroy their SIM card, and leave them for dead because they're going to call rape or some shit. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it is Thank you, goodness. Kimberly, for, for being a member for six months. Thank you, Her Zombie, for being a member for a month. Thank you, Jasmine Starr, for being a member for eight months. Thank you, Jessica Jennifer, for being a member for 12 months. And thank you, Extreme Abyss, for being a member for 11 months. All right, yeah, yeah, Abe did say that to me. He 
the conversation started with Abe asking me, dogs, would you ever hit a bitch? And I told him, no, I would never put my hands on a woman. And he's like, but what if they were putting your hands on you? And I told them, and I told him that I would use enough force to not fucking physically assault a woman because I just don't believe in domestic abuse. Thank you, Mr. Turtle, for being a member for 11 months. But no, yeah, yeah, me and Abe did, I mean, and then Abe told me, like, oh, well, you shouldn't be doing that, holding her back and all that. He told me to hit him on the brainstem and break their phone and all that. But then, you know, I, I, I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what the fuck to make of this bullshit, but Abe said he was joking. Who knows? No, no, he didn't of say course he was joking. joking. Of course he, he was joking. He, he said that he was trolling another person. Yeah, my who wasn't line. even, yeah, who wasn't even involved at that. Thank point. you, Saviors, for being a member for eight months. Of, of course, he was joking. Abe ain't gonna do nothing to nobody's brainstem. No, I know that. He, he, I know he that. argued I mean, about it for twenty minutes, and the panel was all like woman hating centric. We were like, oh well, you know, let's imagine a reason why a man needs to be hit in the brainstem. If someone hits you in the brainstem, that's paralysis, or you die. What up, Fundy? What up, Monkey Boy? It, it was disgusting. And yeah, I wouldn't do that because that's worse than holding a woman back and her, like, you know, accusing me of a bunch of shit. Hi, Cool Nicole. Cool Nicole's here. Holy shit. Cool, cool Nicole, you lost your match against Tina D. What? You thought that? But I stopped. You lost. I didn't see it. I didn't watch it. It was on my channel. Like <laughs> oh, and I don't Steve, like your channel. And Steve, Kimmy K, I'm sorry to tell you guys, but you both lost to Tara the tranny. Oh, well. Oh, well. Better luck next time. Guess who's getting the next title shot, though? Who? Mr. T. Oh, right on. Yeah, right on. Okay. Yep, since, yep, since he did a very, uh, since he beat Dave 25 in the steel cage match, he's getting it. But, yeah, we're probably going to hold off on it for a while. For, I mean, me and Wrangler want to try to make new content besides, you know, wrestling all the fucking time. That's right, Faulted Wolf. Once you reach the bottom, there's no coming back. Yep. Mm. I've seen people try. They come back under new names and get busted. People are too new. Right. Too unique in this community to get away with that shit for more than five minutes. Oh man, is there a fucking God damn it? I don't really like your channel, Fat Ass Dog. I'm not subscribed, so. Oh okay. Well, I have this rest. <laughs> well, okay, I have this wrestling thing going on my channel, and I I make wrestling matches mm -hmm. on this video game, and I made a character of you, and I made you and Tina deep fight, and you lost. So you're trying to copy Blade Wrestling. What? But so you're trying to copy Blade Wrestling. No, it's my own... Com it's my. Well, I'm using a different game, though. And uh, it's a different promotion name. It's called Tar TV Wrestling. Not Boyt Wrestling. Tar TV Wrestling. Isn't that right, Wrangler? <laughs> yes. <laughs> different franchise entirely. <laughs> yep, we are. Well, we're not. We're not going to be. I'm not looking to compete with boy wrestling. In fact, I support boy wrestling. We're we're cool. Yeah, I don't watch boy wrestling. I don't. I don't like wrestling. That's I why know, I got on with boy wrestling. I know. I know. Not not a lot of women do. I get it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have an announcement at the asylum. Abyss is live. I guess he didn't appreciate me doing a, a live stream to to clear his name and, and out the pedophiles that accused him of doing creepy behavior. So he he decided to to go live and do his own live stream over the asylum. Um, you mean Tina told him to go live, right? Oh, he's he's been live for for thirty minutes. So yeah, he he immediately jumped off the panel and and went and fired up his his own own live stream. 
Yeah, um, I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not saying anything badly about Abyss, but you know, Tina does have a lot of control over people. I will say that she seems a little bossy. Oh, Kyle says they all said "fuck you," basically, Steve. Well, what? That, that, that's that's okay. Wait, what? That, that's okay. Let them, uh, let them, because uh, you know I'm not the one over there. Uh, you know, giving Dave twenty five my my money. Um, We're a bunch of ungrateful. Bastards. They are. Um, so I mean, it is what it is. You know, Un- ungrateful. That's all I could say about that. What I mean, they yeah. I mean, come on. You went through all the trouble to, you know, take time out of your schedule to do this live stream for us. And that's all they got to say to us? Like, come on, dude. That's not well, cool. that's, that's, that's okay. I mean, uh, it isn't going to affect me going live. It's not going to affect my panels if they decide not to, to come here. It's, no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, they could be, they could have been, you know, a little bit more appreciative of you trying to help out. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I, well, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, the people still needed to be to be called out for it, whether they appreciate the efforts or not. But what it was, Steve, was the fact that you allowed me and Kimmy up on panel just to address the one situation. I wasn't going to stay up there, you know, up here for the whole fucking panel. I have no reason to. Um, no, she just didn't get her way. You didn't, you weren't subservient to Tina. I, you know I'm how never, it is. I never will be. Well, well, no, that's what she expects, though, Steve. And you well, know it. You know well, it's been to me. She expected it from, from the wrong person. This is the asylum. This is, this is my channel. Um, nobody controls this panel except me, and nobody controls the side chat except Lena and Betty. That's the way it is, and that's the way it's going to stay. I am not going to bow down to to anyone for for any reason. I'm not going to say I won't give anyone any special treatment because right now, if you said I'd like to have a one-on-one conversation with dogs, I would I would put Wrangler and Cool Nicole backstage so you could have that. So I'm not going to say that I would, you know. Uh, but ain't nobody going to control this channel. Um, everybody knows the the reason the asylum exists is because it's an open panel and anyone can click that link how many times have i had to put up a blocker so people could come up here and make ridiculous noises it's because anybody can click that link and i'm not going to say oh you know you you know i did that i did that a couple of times before where tina said i don't want to be up there with this first not panel and said you're going to have to wait till tina leaves the panel um but but this this is this is my channel, you know. If they would rather go live where over somewhere where where they have control, that's that's totally up up to them. Uh, I'm not gonna feel negatively about them or, or have any harsh feelings towards them. But if they have harsh feelings towards me for running my channel, however the fuck I want to, well, oh well, too bad, so sad. Tough titty said the kitty. Yeah, it, it, it's just ridiculous, Steve. It can't be the same fucking stream every goddamn week. And it's always about what Tina's gone through. I said this right when it first came out. If they really wanted me to address it. Um, I felt like Tina completely took the situation Chris was unfortunately put into. And she just made it about herself. She literally fired up that stream because you're right. She has been live over there. They have been live for about 35 minutes now. And the first thing out of her mouth when she got up on that panel was that we didn't care about vindicating you. You didn't care about vindicating Chris. It was about, um, about you know, basically targeting Abyss to get to Tina. And it's like, bitch, the whole world does not revolve around Tina Dandridge. God damn. Like, it was ridiculous, and anybody can go verify that. Just go back, go to a business channel right now on his live stream. Of course, after the asylum ends, and uh, just scroll back to the beginning. I, I, I well, think there's and, some and, truth. Look, there's some truth to that because I feel like Tina thinks she deserves special treatment because she was on the Angry Grandpa show. Let's just be honest. She's an entitled cunt. I've said it forever. Yeah, I mean, again. Well, here, here's she the is, deal. And 
she, here, here, a here, here, people here, here's the deal. Like I, I almost never, I'm not going to say never because I have done it a couple times before. Um, but this stream, the majority of the stream was going to be about the neighbors and abyss. So about 45 minutes before I went live, I messaged abyss and said, I'm going to be talking about the neighbors. I hope you, you can come up and tell your side of the story. Uh, I very rarely do that, but this, this live stream was because of what happened to abyss. Um, he, he was sorry, sorry, sorry for anybody that got their feelings hurt, but, uh, the spotlight was on abyss because he was the one who was done wrong. Yes, sir. Yep. So the spotlight mm -hmm. was on abyss. Uh, it wasn't about anybody else. It, it, you know, it wasn't about what happened to somebody in 2018. It wasn't about what happened to somebody in 2019. It wasn't about what happened to somebody in 2020. It wasn't about what happened to somebody in 2023. But it's Steve, about what about what that time that they called my daddy when my daddy was laying in the other room. Remember that, Steve? Yeah, it was about what has happened in the last three weeks to a month right here yeah. on this platform in the current days. Um, if, if somebody got their feelings hurt over the fact that uh, somebody else was in the spotlight, oh, well, too bad, so sad. That's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the ball bounces. Oh, a bag wow. of dick. Yep. Anyway, it, Steve, uh, thanks for having me on your panel. I'm going to get going. Um, All right. Well, you have a super great night tonight, dogs. I will. Yeah, and uh, Wrangler, I'll catch you later, buddy. Yep, yep. Yep. I'm going to hop down too, Steve. Y'all take it All right. Time. All right. You have a great night too, Corey. Yep. Uh, pe people have to realize that me personally are, are tired of hearing the five year old stories. Our tie, I'm tired of the three-year-old stories. I've heard them all 180,000 fucking times over the last three years, over the last four years, after over the last five years. I think a majority of people are bored with hearing about what happened in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. Um, it, it's, it's old, it's played out. Now there's not a lot of current drama going on. We all know that. Uh, it's because a lot of the players are being, being quiet right now. And I think that a lot of the reason behind the fact that it's so quiet is I think a lot of people are feeling like me and are just tired of rehashing the same old shit day after day, panel after panel, hearing the same stories day after day, panel after panel. It's getting old. It's getting tiring. People are getting vile, disgusting, racist, saying horrible shit. And every time something new happens and a new topic is being talked about, it circles back to two years ago, four years ago, six years ago. It's old. It's repetitive. It's tiring. There, there are a lot of different characters on these YouTube streets. There are a lot of different players in this game. Not everything is going to be about the same person over and over and over again. Um, the focus tonight was on abyss and the neighbors. The neighbors are vile, disgusting. I'm not even going to call them humans. They're vile, disgusting pieces of shit. And they needed to be exposed at the asylum. And abyss needed his name cleared. Now, me and Abyss have been friends for a hell of a lot longer than he has been with 
any of the people he's running with now, I don't understand why he would jump off of my panel and fire up his own live stream. Can I ask a logistical question? Absolutely. All right. So Abyss requires extra room in order to be allowed to speak. I understand that. How the hell does she deal with Tina, whose only mode is loud? And I, I don't think she understands that if you're just loud all the time, people disregard what the fuck you're saying, but it's a different, different topic. Yeah. Well, T Tina D is, is T Tina D. Um, you know, she's always going to be that person. Nobody is going to do or say anything to change her. She is always going to be Tina D, the, the angry neighbor. Um, she doesn't ramp it up and, and play a character on the internet. She is who she is, and she's always going to be that person. Um, if she's upset and offended with me, uh, oh, oh well. It, it's I'm not going to lose a wink of sleep over it. It's not going to bother me in the least. It just it is what it is. Um, I just think that if she had a problem with me, she should have stayed up here on the panel for three to five more minutes. And said, uh, Steve, I have a problem with you. But but I guess that didn't happen. They, they ran over there and fired up their own live stream while I was live. But then again, that, that's a statement all in itself, isn't it? If there's anything I could say that, it, you know, if she's not going to listen. But, like, might does not necessarily make right. And the loudest voice in the room does not make you correct either. That's a fact. That's a fact. It just means you're the loudest voice in the room and you're probably making an ass out of yourself. That's all. <laughs> and that's that's okay. That's okay, Carlos. That that doesn't bother me at all. Really? That that quick turned on him? <laughs> how, wow. how cruel. It's crazy on YouTube. It is. And and it doesn't it doesn't bother me. Yeah, um, I have my own problems in real well, life. Well, well, Venger, um, you know, I, I unexiled everyone. Um, Dave, Dave 25 is beyond exiled. Uh, he is permanently iced out. He is on the fuck you forever list. Uh, I, I just, he, he's vile. He's, he's disgusting. He says heinous shit. He's a racist. He's a, a convicted fucking stalker. Uh, he's a harasser. He, he, I, I just got, I just got no time for him. I'm not going to continue to, to talk about him. I'm not going to clip anything he says. I'm not going to give his channel a any type of, of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not going to promote people to go there in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I just don't have have any room for him at all. Oh, Aaron, Aaron don't like me? Well, th that's okay. Y you see, it doesn't matter to me who on the internet likes me. And it doesn't matter to me who on the internet agrees with me or disagrees with me. I, it, you know, I appreciate the people that do like me. I appreciate the people that support me. Um, but the people that don't like me, I couldn't give a shit less. Um, yeah, I, I, and, and of course, Aaron doesn't like me because he's over there. Boss, boss, well, whatever you say, boss. Yes, boss. E yes, boss. Yes, the spurs, the spurs. So it it doesn't it doesn't matter to me what what Aaron thinks. Who's who's Aaron? I mean, at the end of the day, who who's Aaron? Or well, why would I care if if Aaron likes me or doesn't like me? Um, that's that's of no consequence to me. Like I say, it it doesn't it doesn't matter to me if if Wrangler 
goes and fires up a stream four minutes from now and curses me up one side and, and down the other. It, 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 it don't matter if he, he goes on somebody else's panel and says, you know what? I've never liked that. Steve, he's such a son of a bitch. He runs around triggered up over everything all the time. He's a fucking weirdo. He's a freak. I'm going to be, oh, oh, well. Oh, well, exactly. I'm going to keep doing, I'm going to keep doing what I do. And if people want to tune in and find out what I have to say and listen to my opinions, then I'll keep doing it. If people quit showing up, then I'll quit showing up. It's as simple as that. But as long as people are still clicking the link to watch my live streams and still clicking the link to come up on my panel, I'm going to keep doing what I do. Yep. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. So. Ab absolutely. A absolutely. We have defended Tina. We have promoted Tina. We have promoted her GoFundMe's. I have sent Tina money. Uh, you know, I, I have helped her out. I've talked to her on the phone. Um, but if she's if she's got a problem with coming to the asylum and being on a panel with me, well, then may, maybe she should take a, a look in the mirror because I'm not the one over on Dave 25's panel giving him money and helping him get watch hours so he can monetize his channel. That, that ain't me doing that. That, that. that ain't me. I'm not the one that is on panels asking people to give me money and then turning around and giving money to, to someone like Dave 25. That, that ain't me. Um, okay. Carlos says, last question, your thoughts, uh, P Diddy and his homes being raided by the feds, the bridge collapse in Maryland, the April 8th, a pop apocalyptic solar eclipse and are we headed to world war three i i know how well, to answer this okay go ahead diddy diddled the bridge it caused structural weakness uh, it, it, it would have never survived if it you know would have gotten attacked but you know like did he do what did he do yeah i think it's going to be a huge collapse in the music industry and in Hollywood. Look what's going on with Nickelodeon. Look what's going on in the music industry. Uh, look what's going on. People are coming forward in groves, not by the handful, not by the dozen, but people are coming forward by the hundreds Everything is going to get exposed. There are vile, disgusting people that have rose to the top and are abusing their power. And it's all going to come out. The sex trafficking, the pedophilia, the sexual assaults, the abuse. It's all coming out. And it's not going to stop with the Nickelodeon stuff and the Diddy stuff the Epstein stuff, it's all coming out and there is going to be so many more people involved than anyone ever imagined. Steve, imagine being so brazen that you send out a casting call for children's feet because it's your king and everybody's just cool with it because money's involved. Right? Right? It's it's disgusting and, and all the... Well, I can't say all of, but a lot of these disgusting people are going to finally be uh, held accountable for the vile, disgusting pieces of shit that they are. And, and it took a, a chain reaction of events. It took a couple people to come forward and then more people came forward. And I hope that a whole bunch of more people keep coming forward and exposing all of this shit. But me too. <laughs> Assholes. All right. Well, it's a Thursday night. We've been live for two hours and 14 minutes. Um, so I'm 
cut this one off here. I usually only go for about two hours on Thursday nights. Um, but if you all want someone to go, uh, head on over there to Abysses and let them know how, how righteous that was for, for him to fire up a live stream right in the middle of me doing a live stream to clear his name. Y'all be good to each other. Y'all make sure the neighbors are vile, disgusting pieces of shit. Make sure when you see them go live that you go over there and tell them what you think about them. I won't be live on Sunday. I hope you all have a great Easter. And I'll see you when I see you. Good night, everyone.